comments in my unboxing video, I'm going to be doing my Beast Machines review in the Maximal known as Skydive. Skydive here is a trans-organic Quetzalcoatlus. I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm not entirely sure. Basically, it's a part of the pterosaur family. So as you can see here, he's got he's got somewhat of a skeletal look. You see he's got muscle showing, bone structure of the head. You can see more of a skull and whatnot. It's a very interesting design. Uh, the wingspan, very nice indeed. He's got a lot some very cool paint apps as well. I do like the whole paint scheme on him. Paint scheme is really really nice, and the translucent pieces are a nice touch too. Uh, I will say that the beast mode, it's all, it's overall it's all right. I'm not too fond of the legs right here. Uh, they just don't do it for me. But from here up, looks really nice. Uh, articulation. The wings do move. The legs, of course, move as well as the ankle and the head. If you move this, the head moves and the neck moves. Uh, I'm not sure if this is supposed to be floppy, like so, or it's supposed to lock, whatever. It is a come with instructions, and I haven't seen any other reviews on this guy, so I don't know if this is either the mechanism is broken or it's supposed to be like that. Um, so, overall, the beast mode, it's alright. Not the best, but definitely not bad either. To transform him now, basically what you gotta do is just... Straighten up the legs, like so, and just rotate them by the knee. So what I'm going to do is take this piece and just bring it up front, like so. Try to get this out of the way, and just got to move these out of the way as well. And in that case, you can rotate this all the way around. Bring this back. Kind of rest this here. Go. Bring the head down like so. Take the arms and rotate them like so. Bring them back. And just move these panels up, move the wings so they lock into place, and just maneuver the wrists, and here is skydive in robot mode. Skydive here in robot mode, uh, color-wise, while his beast mode had more of a purple and some orange in this mode, it's more orange and purple, pretty much orange is on top. Well, purple is pretty much on the limbs. And what really sticks out to me the most is his head sculpt. I really do like it. It really looks nice. Uh, it's got the mixture of the silver, orange, and yellow, which makes it look really nice, particularly with the red eyes or orange eyes. And I think, yeah, they're orange eyes, but they still looks very nice. Um, and yeah, uh, got the maximal um, spark here. It looks really nice. You know, it's got a little scar here, whatever. It looks cool. Um, articulation uh, for this guy, uh, Heads on a ball joint, can move all the way around. He's got a ball joint there, there, and there, so you get pretty good movement out of them. He's got a ball joint here, here, and here. Also, very nice, very good movement as well. Uh, he has no waist articulation, but other than that, good articulation, good posability in this figure. That being said, there are some things that kind of hinder it. First of all, being... He does have all this stuff sticking out with the wings and these parts of the wings. Uh, and the instructions from what I saw, or just pictures, they're pretty, supposed to be posed like this. But doing that really hinders the arms. So if you move it back, you can move them around. But still, they kind of get in the way. Uh, the wings, not so much. But really, these two things really kind of get in the way of posing. And... Since all the gears and all the things for the gimmick for beast mode make it very top heavy in which the it starts to buckle down between the knee, 
ball joint and the ankle ball joint they start to fall like that um, one quick fix could be you know you could try the either super glue or white nail polish on the ball joint to give it more friction so it can be able to stand up straight without having worrying to fall see he starts to go back uh, in terms of weapons he has these claws right here and it can move like that you can kind of have it like that but it just looks odd so I just always have him down like this and it's got this whole baraka thing going which is cool I like it and you know nice indeed so overall skydive isn't the best uh, Transformer figure we ever had but in my opinion I don't think he's the worst here he's got some problems but you know those problems I can you know slip by and can enjoy for what it is it's uh, more of a okay to good figure between those two things um wonder where you could purchase it now I'll have a link to where I got him of course I bought him at Big Bad Toy Store there's a link gonna be where you can pick up the various figures of him in terms of price range whichever one you prefer if you don't want to hey that's cool with me so until next time guys if you guys enjoyed this review this is Beast Machine Skydive I am Jay Asante and I will talk to you later hey boys and girls looking for an online toy shop well look no further than BigBadToyStore.com this site has everything you're looking for with all your favorite lines like Transformers, He-Man, G.I. Joe, Marvel, DC, Macross, Gundam, Kamen Rider, and much, much more. Want something that's on pre-order? Just add it to your cart, check out with no need to pay until it arrives at their warehouse. There's that and more great features available, but you can only find out by heading to BigBadToyStore.com. Again, that's BigBadToyStore.com. Check it out.